Well, howdy there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome to Mo and Mike's Garage. Boy, we, we upgraded the chair, got some new wheels on the bottom of her. Now, today you should be excited. Why? Because I'm going to do the video that everybody's been asking for on my channel. Well, what is that? Well, today we are going to change the transmission oil on a hydro gear transmission underneath the zero turn on a sealed unit. Now, there are two types of transmissions on these zero turns. They're all made by the same company, Hydro Gear, but on the larger units, they are serviceable, meaning they have a drain plug and an oil filter, and you can actually service them while they're on the lawnmower. And I've got a great video on it. I'll post it here, there, everywhere. Uh, really good video. Now, on these smaller lawnmowers, like this 42 inch John Deere, uh, they're sealed units from Hydro Gear, meaning they don't have a drain plug, they don't have a filter. They are not meant to have their oil changed on them. They're supposed to be lifetime. But I'm gonna show you how to do it anyways. And you might, you know, like, well, I'm like why, why would we wanna change the oil on a unit? Because obviously the manufacturer doesn't think you need it. Well, I'll tell you why. Because most likely you're a male over 40 and you're bored and you want to do way more maintenance on the one thing you do maintenance on in your garage. So this is it. This is for all you guys out there that just want to dig into this because it's actually a fun job. Now, in order to start, we do have to remove the transmission from the lawnmower. In this video, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because I've got two other videos. I've got a great removal and an install video for your transmission because I don't want you guys that want to go straight to the chase, they have to wait through me fumbling around a bunch of bolts to unbolt the transmission and bolt it back in. So we're going to go straight to the shot of me with the transmission pulled off. We're going to pull it over here to the uh, mower mic table and I'm going to show you how to do it. And as an extra, <laughs> we're going to do something real cool in comparing synthetic uh, oil to regular dyno oil on this sucker. So stay with me and strap in because this is going to be a wild one. All right. So I finally got the pig pulled off the John Deere and we actually have an inverted camera angle to let you see the whole situation here. Now, this here is a non-serviceable Hydro Gear, probably an 18, 1900. They're all made by Hydro Gear, hydrostatic gear transmission. The main belt runs this, which runs a, a hydro pump in there, pumps high pressure fluid into the transmission. Boom, boom, you go forward backwards. Now, on these serviceable transmissions, at the bottom of them, you will see a, a filter down here where you can actually drain the fluid out. I can see on this one, it has no filter. It has no drain plug. It has nothing down here. Do not start undoing these bolts because those bolts separate the case. You don't want to do that. So the only way to get the oil out of the transmission is either through this vent or that one. And this one here has an eighth inch uh, plug in it. So what we do, we take an eighth inch uh, Allen bolt head situation and we see if we can get this sucker out of there. There we go. So, now you're probably wondering like, well you take it out, what's gonna happen next? Well that's where I've set up my fancy <laughs> jack stands here and my wife's stew pot. So what we're gonna do, I am going to try and flip this thing upside down without spilling any hydrostatic gear transmission oil. And if anybody who knows me knows this is not possible because I make a mess with everything I touch. But here we go, here we go. And we're inverted. Oh shoot. Okay, we're hitting the pot. Things are looking good. Let's see if we can do a bad, uh oh, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, okay. Stay right there. All right, I'm going to try to get you the action shot of the gear oil actually coming out of the transmission. Look at that. Look at that thick, gnarly stuff. That there is straight 30 weight oil. It's about 10 years old coming out of the hydrostatic gear transmission, which is, <laughs> hey, this is pretty cool. Now, the new stuff here, we're going Amsoil, high tech, zero turn. I mean, this is the best freaking hydrostatic gear transmission oil you can get. So what we're going to do, we're going to let this sucker drain and then we're going to fill her back up for more exciting content. All right, stay with me. Now we're going to fill her up. And what am I going to put in this here John Deere certified hydro gear, hydrostatic gear transmission? We're going to put the best thing available. That there is Amsoil. They, a couple years ago, they came out with a uh, hydro zero turn, hydrostatic, super hydro, awesome, full synthetic, American made oil specifically for these things. 
Now, if you're old school, you know they used to always say to use straight 30 weight on hydro gear transmissions. A couple years ago, hydro gear themselves, the company that makes all these hydro gear transmissions, came out and said, hey, you guys use 20W50, it's 2020, let's roll. So what I got, I got the good stuff here, and we're gonna fill her up. Now, you can fill this sucker up when it is you put after you put it back on the tractor. But for camera purposes. And the fact I can't speak today, we're going to fill her up right now. And I've got my special American made funnel and just take your time doing this. This stuff is very, very thick. So it will take a while and just make sure you fill it all the way up to the very tippy top of this brim. And then we're going to put our cap back on. So I'm not going to bore you with the specifics of filling up a transmission, but that's what you do. Come back and I'll tell you how much I put it in there. Well, that didn't take long for these smaller ones. This one only took maybe eat two quarts if that now for your bigger hydrostatic gear transmissions that have the filters on the bottoms i know those take upwards to four to five but for these small guys i think it's a 2100 series two quarts just to be the way now i have always wanted to do this and i am very excited so in the right transmission we put the amsoil the highest finest synthetic transmission oil you can find but i'm going to do this in the left one on the same machine, but we're going to use the absolutely cheapest oil I could find on that one. For uh, O'Reilly's 20W50, this is about four bucks a quart there at the local O'Reilly store, and I'm going to fill up the left one with 20W50. And that way we can actually have two of the same engines, transmissions, on the same machine and see if they run any different, and we can finally settle if synthetic's any better. So I can answer all your, your questions and your worries in life about synthetic versus conventional. So just stay with me and I'll answer all your problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this sucker up and then we're gonna strap them back underneath here and just let her rip. All right, so I will confirm uh, 1.5 quarts in these little suckers. So not much oil at all. And you wanna fill them all the way up. Now before I strap it back underneath the lawnmower, this is a really cool view of these, both of the transmissions from that John Deere pulled out of the lawnmower and how it looks. So you see right here, you've got your two pulleys that run off the motor and these face towards the front of the lawnmower. The pulleys run the hydro gear, uh, the hydrostatic pumps, <laughs> the hydro pumps down in here, which forces high pressure fluid into the transmission, which in turn turns the wheels. Now, I know some of your viewers are gonna say, hey, Mower Mike, you're missing your fan over here. Absolutely, I am missing a fan. So before I strap this in, I am going to fix that fan. I'll make a real quick video on how to do it. I've had several struggles trying to find the right fan part because apparently there's several. So again, one and a half quarts. Uh, this is how she looks and stay with me and we'll strap her back up. All right, we've moved outside underneath Mower Mike's new overhang, got a new extension here to the garage. Pretty freaking awesome. We've moved outside because um, we're going to have to bleed the transmissions to get all the air out before we start ripping across the grass. And in order to do that, what you do is you jack up the rear end because we can't have any pressure on the wheels because we need to have the wheels turn without any pressure on them in order just to get them going, get those hydros warmed up. All right, so we got them off. Now, usually this would be good enough with your service bolt transmission because you have your overfill tank. You would just keep filling it as it bleeds. But with this one, we need to go ahead and take your two plugs out, your fill plugs, just like we did before. Go ahead and top them off, make sure they're topped off. And I'm going to leave the fill plugs removed while we bleed the transmission because there is no way for the air to, to work its way out since these are sealed transmissions. So we've got it jacked up. Uh, we've got our two transmissions topped off. Uh, I got, even got them noted here. We got AMS on the right, Dino on the left. And what you do now, is you just start to run. A little extra safety, I went ahead and got rid of the jack, put some jack stands under here because these zero turns can get pretty squirrely. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna start the lawnmower and then just ease back and forth and let it bleed out. So let's see how this works. Hopefully it works. <laughs> out of neutral so uh, give me another shot at this it's just an amateur all right shoot 57 of me trying to start a freaking lawnmower so we've got her in drive got a new battery in here 
Let's go ahead and get her going. spinning good and before we get going I'm gonna go ahead and top them off because you want to make sure they are super full so I'm gonna top them off and then we'll put our plugs back in here and we'll see how it goes give her a little test ruski all right stay with me <laughs> actually helped out the performance a little bit. I am trying out for the Zero Term and Limit team. <laughs> it's a little trick riding, don't do that at home. Now, how did the one with the dyno, such a dyno oil means dinosaur oil, uh, means real oil, versus the Amsoil, the full synthetic. I tell you what, the right one here that's got the Amsoil in it, she ran a touch faster. Now, I don't know if that's just in my head, but it, uh, it is running a little faster than the O'Reilly's oil. So hey, I like the Amsoil. You have to go to the MZOA site. They only sell through there. So with that, I hope that helped. And if you need to change your oil on serviceable units with the filters, I've got a different video on that. If you need to pull these out, remove the hydro, install it, I've got different videos on that. I'll list them all down in the description below. Or go to my uh, Zero Turn Transmission playlist. Whew. Hopefully I'm done with Zero Turn Transmissions for a minute. I can move on to something more fun. All right, so with that, Marmike's out. See you guys next time.